Welcome back to Fit for Life with Karen. Today we're going to do some more strength training, but not with our free weights. Always have those ready too, but we're going to use our resistance bands, our exercise bands, TheraBands. There's all kinds of names for them, but it's, it's a really kind of a neat way to do strength training, and it's a, it gives it a little variety. Um, these bands are effective. They really are. Uh, they're lightweight. They're easy to carry. Um, they're they're fa fairly inexpensive too. They increase. They also increase your flexibility because you're moving your arms in different different movements. We're going to do upper body, and then we're going to do lower body. We have to do that so that you get a good all over workout. They can be used alternatively, alternatively with free weights or dumbbells. I like to call them free weights better. They're also used in physical therapy, but it really is, a, it's such a convenient way to exercise. You can, uh, when you travel, you can take them. I mean, you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't want to take heavy weights with you, so this would be a good thing to just wrap up and stick in your suitcase and, uh, you know, bring your informational page so you'll know what to do. And, and as I said, it's very inexpensive, so it's just another way to keep yourself strong, upper and lower body. So uh, we're going to warm up just a little bit first before we do them. I have quite a few for you today, so I hope you got a good night's sleep. Coming forward in your chair, we're going to lift those arms right up, good. And then you're going to reach way up and reach up again. Oh, that feels good. You'll be a little taller when you're finished today. And up. It's so easy just to settle in and sit down and do nothing, isn't it? Sometimes we need to, but it seems like we're doing too much of it just because we're not 21 anymore, right? Clasp your hands and just pull your arms up and very gently push back. So we're also working on our posture by doing this. Good. All the way back and come down. And you're going to just open those feet and we're going to come forward. Grab your ankles if you can. Keep your head up. You don't have to drop it down if you don't feel like it. So the spine now is flexing. We've already done extension. That's this one that we did first. We're going to rotate that spine just a little bit. Just take both hands and hands and bring them over to the other side of the chair and hold on. And then we'll come back slowly. Just a reminder, if you have osteoporosis, you should know what you can and cannot do. Uh, a twist like this or a rotation like this pro wouldn't be good for you. Not if you've had a fracture, definitely not. And also bringing the arms up with weights and things like that. And bending forward is not great or not good for people with osteo, full-blown osteoporosis, especially if you've had a fracture. You don't want to do that. So just, just keep that in mind. Um, I do want to... Um, do our thoughts for the day here because I think they're good. I love my book. Age doesn't matter unless you're a cheese. I'm sure you have that memorized by now. Uh, worrying. Do you ever worry about anything? No, we don't worry, do we? Yeah, we do. We worry a lot. If we're not worrying about ourselves, we're worrying about our grandchildren or our children, right? All the world situation. Does it do us good? No, not really. Worrying is the most natural and spontaneous of all human functions, unfortunately. It is time to acknowledge this, perhaps even to learn to do it better. What I'm getting from this is that we need to meditate and stop that constant mind chatter, which is usually negative if you haven't learned to meditate. So if we have time at the end of this show, we will meditate just a little bit with our yoga breath, and that will help to clear that constant chatter. Monkey mind, it's called. All right, let's try this one. Oh, short and sweet. Old age ain't for sissies. And you know who said that? Betty Davis. I'm not surprised, are you? She was a very good actress, wasn't she? All right, a little bit more with the warm-up thing, all right? And you're just going to cross your arms, grab your shoulders, and pull yourself forward. Good and then sit up straight and we'll go back one more time. Great. All right. Now just to get the blood going a little bit, I'm going to sit back and just kick those legs out. This could be done lying down. All of these can be done lying down. Most of them, I should say. 
So just, just to get the blood moving in there. Um, how about this? Leg straight out, you're going to point and flex. This is flexion, this is pointing. I'm going to sit up straight though, because it tightens the core a little bit. All right, back and forth. That's easy enough, isn't it? Getting a nice stretch for your foot, your calf muscle. Let's do some circles. Great. And then the other way. Wonderful. But speaking of the core, let's do an exercise to tighten the core a little bit, strengthen your back. You're going to come forward. All right, clasp your hands together. Try to come as far forward as you can without falling off the chair, okay? We're going to breathe up through the nose. And as you exhale, go back slowly, agonizingly slow, back, back. Can you feel this tighten up? Yes, you can. Uh, I have to go way back to hit the chair, don't I? Let's try another one. Let's take a breath in first, up through the nose. Exhale as you keep exhaling, keep exhaling slowly. That's the key, doing that slowly. Do you want to do one more? Yes, you do. Breathing up through the nose and exhale as you go back. Make it real slow this time. Okay, great. All right, not bad. Just lift the knee up one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Again, let's come forward. Put that leg right out here. Heel down so this leg is out on an angle. Keep your back straight as you come forward. All right, good. Now, the other side, heel down, and you're just going to come forward. That's a nice stretch for your hamstring. Great. And then we'll come back slowly. But you know what I think we should do? I think we should start doing our strengthening. We've got a lot to do today, so we'll take our bands. Uh, we're going to strengthen. Right now, we're going to strengthen mostly the upper body. Good. So we're going to take the band. I'm going to put it around, around the back today. It would be hard to keep that band totally flat. Don't worry about that. And we're not going to wrap the band. We're going to sit up straight. You can move back a little bit, holding on to the ends. And you're going to be breathing out. Great for the arms. Great for the chest area. Pulling out and come back. And out and back, and you can feel the abdomen tighten a little bit too. Good. And four. And five, so this is for strength. Another way to strengthen your muscles, all 630 of them. Out. Let's do three more, you're gonna breathe out. Now to make this more of a challenge, you would just move your hands back and you'll feel it more. Right away, I can feel that, sure. Everyone's different. Some of us are naturally strong, we're lucky, but most of us have to work at it, especially if we, we are retired, which many of us are. But I said, I'm not gonna stop doing things because I'm retired, and you know what? I'm just as busy as I was before. All right, let's do one more, great. Now, if you want to try these, maybe some of you are writing these down. I don't know. You can do whatever you want, but um, it's better to do two sets of everything. We're not going to do that, though, because of our time allotment. So if you want to do two sets, and the range is from 8 to 12, so whatever you can manage, you want to feel a little bit of fatigue, right? Yeah, you do. You don't want it to be too easy. So I'm going to wrap the band on one side. Now, I have an extra long band for some reason. They're usually about a yard long. So I'm going to wrap one side again. I don't know, it still feels kind of easy. And then I'm going to wrap the other side. You might want to wrap just one side twice, all right? And you're going to lift those arms up. Put those feet down nice and flat. Pull the shoulders down. Pull that chin in a little bit, and we'll go out one. Just pulling out to the side and two. Do as many as you can do. We are all at different fitness levels. 
But any movement is better than nothing and sitting all day. I'm pretty sure none of you sit all day. And I'm gonna say five, even if it isn't. And six, good. And seven. And eight, let's do just eight of these. I'm going to unwrap, well, see one is too long and one is too short. What do I do, I don't know. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring the hands together so you have a little shelf. Just rest your chin for a couple of seconds. I think this one feels pretty good. So you know this is all for the upper body, the, the uh, deltoids, which are your shoulders, your upper back, the trapezius, your cervical area, and your arms too, and your hands and your wrists. So this time straight out, not up, but straight out. So it's one, now that feels better. And two, you're sitting straight, and three, and four, and five, feels good. And six, can you feel that in your upper arm especially? Whoa, I feel it in the biceps and triceps. Let's do one more, good. Bring those hands together. You're, you're making a fist, of course, to hold on to the band. You're gonna make a little shelf. I made this one up, it's brilliant, I know. Rest that chin right on your hands. Close your eyes for a few seconds. Take a breath in, hold it for a second, and then breathe out, keep the eyes closed. Just a nice relaxing thing to do, I think so anyway. All right, now take the band, put it kind of in front of the knees. Don't round over like this. Keep your back straight. It doesn't have to touch. And pull out one. And the slower you go, the more benefit you get also. So we'll pull out, I can really feel that. I feel like my upper body's gonna be so strong, I'll be able to lift anything. We just, uh, again, we don't do farm work. We're not out there running around and doing things that require lifting and bending. So we've gotta do it. We've gotta work all of those muscles. So we're pulling out again. I stopped counting, didn't I? We're gonna stop right there. Okay. All right, I'd like to try two exercises that I don't think we've done. Let's grab some water first. Here's mine. I have a little lemon juice in mine. It's very good. It's supposed to be good for us. But I have been drinking more water at home. There's so many things we have to remember. I know it's difficult, but try to remember a couple of extra glasses a day. You'll see the difference. You really will. So we're going to try this. We're going to wrap one hand again. I'm wrapping my left hand. And then my right hand. I'm going to wrap again and again. I'm going to take this hand. Now, make believe you're looking in the mirror. So this is the arm you're using. I'm going to put my hand right here and just pull out to the side. One, a little different. And two. Now, if you don't feel enough resistance, just wrap one hand again. I know you can feel this, five, and six, and seven. Now if you wanna do 10, go right ahead. All right, good. Drop your chin down for just a minute. Now you're gonna feel a wonderful stretch in the back of your neck. You've done it before, good. So take this hand, put it on the opposite shoulder so my arm is crossed in front of the body and out to the side, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Again, the slower you go, the more strength you'll gain. You can do it with the breath. Just remember not to hold your breath, all right? Do one more, great. Good job. We just have one more, and I'm pretty sure we haven't done this before. Maybe, maybe once, I'm not sure. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to keep the band flat, if you can. Just right here. Maybe have 14, 16 inches here in between. I'm gonna move the hands closer, though. All right, 
then you can kind of gather the band up. Your arms are into your body. You can feel your arms right here, like giving you a little hug. All right, and pull out to the sides, one. Now, if this hurts anything, um, this especially strengthens the rotator cuff, but that's a common problem as we get older. Kind of an overused muscle, isn't it? And pull out, but I know you can feel this. If it's really tough, move, the, move your hands down or just don't do it. If you have had surgery or rotator cuff problems, you know what you can do. I just thought we'd maybe try something new, all right? All right, good. Drop that chin down again, put your band right in your lap. I'm gonna take a little nap here for about five seconds. All right, drop that chin, pull your shoulders down, and let your head fall down too. At the same time, you're gonna look up at the ceiling. Great, and then pull that chin right in. Let's circle the shoulders a little bit, just to loosen those up too. And three, and four, how does that feel? Pretty good, five, and six, and seven. And you know what I think we should do now? Our eagle, our yoga eagle pose with the upper body. Cross over, try to get the elbow kind of in the crook here of your arm. So you can feel that stretch in your upper back, right? Now, can you touch the hands together, whether it's thumbs or index, whatever, can you do that? And you know, if the longer you do it, the, the closer your hands will get. It's a wonderful stretch for your upper back. You might want to switch. One side will be easier than the other, although I think this one feels pretty good today. So again, a nice stretch for the upper back, but you know, we're kind of run, not running out of time, but time is going fast. So let's do the lower body. I'm going to give you four good strength training exercises for the lower body. So you're going to take the band. You're not wrapping it under both feet. We're going to get this done today. I'm not going to let you go until we finish. Holding on to the ends, walking out, walking out with the heels, just picking the legs up nice and straight. Your feet are flexed. All right. Uh, here's what I'd like you to try first. Just pull out to the side. All right. Pull out to the side. So your arms are straight. Now, to make this more difficult, you're going to pull that band back. I might rest them, my arms right here on the arms of the chair and pull out this way. Good. And two. And three, you're tightening that abdomen, straightening those legs. You're strengthening almost all of your lower body when you do this. Not so much your feet, really, but your hips, too. Now, the hips are involved, as you can feel. Again, any pain, you just stop and wait, because we have lots of other things you can be doing. Breathe out as you pull out, if you want to. Try to do at least 12 of these if you can. And then rest and do another set on your own. Great. Just gonna put those heels down and, excuse me, let go with one hand. Good. Because this is long, it's getting caught and everything, isn't it? Under one foot this time, this is one that we like, I'm pretty sure. I like it, I think. I think you like it too. All right, I'm gonna come forward a little in the chair and I am gonna pull back and bounce one. Two, try to pull that leg up and get a nice stretch in the back of your leg. But you, you're actually strengthening more your upper body on this one than the lower. But you're tightening the abdomen, so that's good, and that's in the lower body. Great. Again, at least 12. Do 20 if you want. That's okay. Good. All righty. Now, how about out to the side? Now, you might have to come forward if you have arms on your chair. And some of you need to have arms, right? Out to the side. And two, try to maintain your posture and your good mood. I hope you're in a good mood. And out, and five, and six, and seven. We'll do 10, I guess, sure. And 10, all right, down. We have to do the other side. So kind of easy, you're just gonna get the middle of the band under the middle of the foot of your sole here, holding on to the ends. Uh, the lower the hands, the more difficult, the more resistance you'll get. Pulling up straight a little and bouncing. One, two, I just really love this one. Three and four, and yet you feel like you're doing something. Sure, up and down, up and down, that's a good one. 
Yeah, I wish I could see all of you. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll have a reunion or something. We'll have to rent Polar Park in Worcester or something. All right, straighten those arms now. Relax for a minute, drop the chin down. You can move your head from side to side. I find that extremely relaxing. And now you're gonna pull up and out to the side. A uh, one, easy stuff, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. Can you do 12? And 11, I can feel that, 12. Put the heel down, great, let's relax. Now, we'll take a couple of seconds here. Just give yourselves a hug like we did before and drop your chin down and come forward. Wonderful. A nice spinal flexion for you. And then just reach for the sky, grab your wrist and pull up. Helps to grab the wrist, doesn't it? And then we'll do the other side, up, up, up. So you've probably gained about an inch. What do you think? And down. All right. Now uh, we're gonna strengthen the quadriceps this is really good for the quads. So here's how we do it. Well, you know what, let's put the band under the one foot first. Then I'm gonna figure out what to do with my extra long band here. Um, you can wrap the band once if you want. Come forward in the chair, lift up, put those arms on the arms of the chair, or if you don't have that, you can just bring them into the body, okay? And push down, you're gonna push down. This one feels pretty good too. And there's a machine um, that you would find in a gym called the, um, I can't remember it. I had it, now it's gone. Does that ever happen to you? Pushing down, five. It's called a leg press. I mean, what could be easier? And push, and push, do you like it? Feels pretty good, and you know it's doing something. Because if you look at your leg, you can see more definition there in the muscle. All right, good. So that's to strengthen your quadriceps. Now we have two legs, so we have to do both sides. Don't know where the time's going. We're having so much fun, aren't we? Twist, twist, sitting up straight, resting those arms or pulling them into your sides. Down and push down. Great, love it, love it. And four and five and six, and seven, and eight. What do you think? Feel pretty good? Okay, we're gonna do one more. And this one's kind of fun and it's easy and actually we've done it before today. So you're gonna put this under both feet again. All right, walk out with your heels. Good. Sitting up as straight as you can get. Pulling that band up. If you want, you can rest your arms again. Not this, nice and tall. And you're gonna, well, you might have to lift the band up a little so that it doesn't slide off. Just do what you can do, whatever works for you. So we're just pointing and flexing. So you're strengthening the foot. Your calf muscles too. So it's point and flex, nice and tall, point and flex. We'll say six, because I did a few before I talked the second time. Pointing and flexing, and you know what? It doesn't matter. You've been doing a lot in this class. You should feel good when you're finished. When, after any exercise, you should feel like you, you've done something good for yourself. And then you don't have to think about it and do whatever you want to do. Go on with your day. Wonderful. Let's put those bands away. Grab some water. We are almost done, but I want to do so many other things. What I'd like to do, um, at least get this in, is our Grecian stretch. You should be stretching after strength training because those muscles contract and you want to stretch them out again. Come forward in the chair. All right. The leg closest to me, your outside leg, you're going to reach down if you can. If you have a stretch pant on or a legging, you can hold on, you can pull it right up with there if you can't reach all the way down. So you're gonna pull up and pull back. So you're stretching the quadriceps. Quadriceps. Pushing forward, 
reaching and pulling back at the same time. So you're stretching, you get, you're getting basically a full body stretch. There might be some better than this, but I think this one is pretty good. And that's why I do it so much. All right, very gently. Try to hold that at least 15 seconds if you can. The opposite, now we're gonna stretch the back of the leg, and you know how to do that. You're gonna keep your back straight and come forward. You're not gonna come forward very much, but you will feel a stretch in back of the hamstring and probably the back of the knee too. Yeah, Ow. keeping it straight. All right, just for the heck of it, pull that knee in if you can. Oh yeah, sit up nice and tall, that's a beauty. That too is great for the hams. So we're gonna turn so we can get this in. Back, reaching down, pulling up and pulling back and then reaching forward with the other arm and back with the, the leg that's closest to you. Pulling back, sitting up nice and straight. I hope you can do this. You're probably used to it and it probably isn't a, a problem at all for you to do this, good and then down. Now there are some other stretches that you could be doing. Anything you remember, you need to stretch after strength training. So even if you do something like this for the upper body, whatever you can think of, but you do want to stretch. Wonderful. All right, I want you to sit back for just a minute. We've got 30 seconds. Take a deep breath with me, up through the nose. Hold, and exhale through your mouth. As you exhale, pull that abdomen in just a little bit. Drop the chin down. And that will stop some of that mind chatter we're talking about all the time that I'm talking about all the time. One more breath in quickly. <gasps> Thanks for joining us. Breathe out. We'll see you next time. I can't wait. Bye.